hello my loves so welcome back to the channel so this video is a highly requested video you guys have been asking geneva how did you get rid of your body acne people are following my channel for a while you know that i suffer from body acne majority of them was all in my chest and my back so this is basically showing you guys how i managed to clear majority of my acne now this is not something that you know is gonna happen right overnight but you have to be consistent with this treatment that i am going to share with you you're gonna need some warm water for this paste some coffee um any type of coffee is completely fine some brown sugar and some lemon so for this specific paste that i'm making there isn't any specific you know measurement to this you just kind of have to go with the flow and just see how things are coming along so i am going to go ahead and start with two spoonful of the coffee bean with the coffee you just want to make sure that um it's not too runny but you do have you know um a chunk of the coffee in the paste then I'm gonna go in and throw in the brown sugar you guys will see that throughout the process of mixing everything together I was actually going back and forth and adding the coffee to make sure that it's up to my desire you know up to part for me then I cut a half of the lemon then I'm gonna store the next half in the fridge for when I'm making the next paste I'm gonna squeeze the life out of this lemon and then I'm just gonna throw in some water and just give it a nice stir Okay, so once you have your treatment ready, you're all set to go. Now, a lot of people do replace the water with olive oil. And when I first started use, using this treatment, I did start with olive oil, but I felt like it was clogging up my skin, and so I replaced that with water. If you're okay with the olive oil, you can definitely do that. With the olive oil, it will make the coffee ground and the sugar a little bit more harder. You can feel it on your skin in terms of exfoliating, but I'm okay with the water. So I start off with a brush, and then I go in with my hands to just moisturize it all around my body, and then I get help for the remaining of my back um, and the other part of my body that I cannot reach now it is a good idea to use a glove because this can get very very messy the reason why we actually apply the coffee and the sugar is that the coffee and the sugar is going to help buff out the skin basically working as exfoliator to help remove dead skin and the reason also for the lemon is that we all know lemon fades the skin naturally. Um, the acid in lemon juice has a mild estrogen quality and the estrogen work by constricting the blood tissue and pushing the oil out of the skin. So this is basically helping um, acne from not forming from your skin because if it's pushing out the oil then there isn't any anything to basically gravitate to form acne on the skin so this is the reason why i love using lemon in almost everything it's just a very um natural fading scar remedy so another benefit of coffee is that coffee eliminates poofy eyes so if you have poofy eyes you can definitely work with coffee to place that underneath the eye minimize cellulitis as well as a brightened skin and increases circulation so these are all other great benefit of using coffee so once you've gone ahead and take your shower, you definitely want to do this method before shower because it gets really, really messy. So taking a shower right after is probably the best thing to do. I'm going to go ahead and moisturize. What I'm using to moisturize is 100% pure shea oil by Bolden. Before that, I used to also use coconut oil, but I've been loving the shea butter. Well, I love shea butter. So of course, I decided to incorporate the shea oil to it. Um, this is also unscented. So what that means is that there isn't any smell to it. So I love that right before bed so I just moisturize that all over my skin as you can see I concentrate a lot more on my chest because that was my problem areas so all you do is just moisturize it you want to repeat this method at least two times a week I started noticing um, a difference about I would say about my third month that's when I noticed that it was actually fading I've been doing this ever since so now that I've kind of been having a better result I don't do it twice a week anymore I do it like maybe once a month or once every two months another benefit of shea butter is that it's good for eczema as well as scar and stretch marks so this is perfect for it so I hope that you guys enjoyed this video let me know if they've left out anything leave all your comments down below and love you all so much and I hope that you enjoyed this video be sure to give it a thumbs up if you did take care bye bye